Alright, it's rolling, man, rolling. Oh, here we are, here we are. Greetings, people, greetings, people. This goes out to you. And, and you. you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, 94, 94 feet raw back in the house. Whoa, Trees, whoa. Rods, E-Dog, we back in the house. We're talking about Brooklyn the Nets. Leprechauns. You know, it's a shame they don't live up to the great hip-hop artists. You know, yeah, they, they, they defame in Brooklyn right now. <laughs> you know, we got to talk about them like we got to talk about every other team in the league. And this is who they are. They picked up a player um, from the LA Lakers when their point guard situation. It's a good pick up, man. Listen, despite what these guys have done, it's like, it's like you, you fall into a pit and a whole pile of waste falls on top of you and it's like you can just die or you can try to scoop way to the top and get out of this pile of waste man and and they've made some efforts man I think the D'Angelo Russell trade um was a good move man you gotta try a thing they've made some good moves this off season they got Alan Crabb they often gave him the offer sheet last year Portland matched so they didn't get the trade but they traded for him you know, the good thing about them, they've got a lot of cap room, the Mari Carroll, and they, able to, they can swallow up contracts, you know, and take on take on a draft picks, or take on the contracts without taking on, without giving up any more draft picks, man. They, they were like a cheap, no, they were like, they were like UNICEF. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? That's harsh, right? They were just giving out aid, just like, yeah, yeah, take, take a draft, no, take a draft, take another draft. Yeah. It was the most ridiculous trade in the NBA history, what they just did there, man. What are you doing? But from where they are now, the team will be. But why do you, think, why do you think they've done that? You know, At the time. Their, yeah, what is their thinking, really? The initial trade, you're talking about when they gave up the draft picks. Yeah. Listen, the, the, the owner at the time, Prokhorov, mm -hmm. he came in and he promised the fans that they would win a championship within five years, I believe. Well, they get was. married in four years and That's when they're gone, anyway. And so at the time, you had, you know, we knew Garnet and, and Pierce and. And um, what's the little guard's name? Used to be a, a Atlanta. Jason Terry. We knew these guys were on their last legs. They were past their prime, oh. and they were coming out of their prime. Definitely, you know, Garnet is probably he was more or less. He weren't the same Garnet, and but I guess Pro Cross didn't have the basketball knowledge or he didn't do his homework because <laughs> based upon results they were done. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And then. They had Joe Johnson there as well, didn't they? Yep. They yep. had uh, Deron Williams. He just yep. aged quicker than... <laughs> Fermented nipples. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nothing positive coming from these boys. No, 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 no. You know what? Um, they're they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're not inspiring me, I'll be honest. I don't know what to say. No, no, but no. listen, no, go they're... they're, they're, they're They've got, they've got everything to play for because they've got no draft pick. L luckily, they get the draft pick back the season after and they can be back in the hunt. Unfortunately, they've missed some prime time years with some prime time talent coming out the ranks. Even uh, some, some the kids coming out next year, which we'll talk about in another podcast. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the tune. <laughs> talk about Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think the thing about Brooklyn Nets ultimately is... Uh, this is the highlight of Brooklyn right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, we'll be sorry for this podcast right here, man. <laughs> Seriously. No, 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 but you know what? D'Angelo yeah, Russell, the highlight for Brooklyn, I think right what's, you know, one thing about D'Angelo Russell, he's a character. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's a bit stylish, a bit flashy. He's made some mistakes. Five. He's still a rookie. <laughs> but I think people still will want to go see him. You know what I mean? Because he'll have up and down, he'll have an up and down season. It'll be nice when he hit 30 and it'll be nice he will struggle to make 10 points. And, you know, and then Jeremy Lin is always a person that people seem to gravitate to after he's... 10 games in New York and whatnot. So, Brooklyn, they'll always attract people to come down. And I think they're probably maybe the better team in New York. You know I mean? Even though Paul Zegas is yeah, up, with, up in it. I understand what you're saying. But I think, question, not to believe that. In that regard, you do bring up a point. You know what I mean? You know, in New York, are they there? Because, you, know, you know, New York, man, New York is the, is the back of basketball, man. And who's repping? You know, all you got is D'Angelo Russell and Jeremy Lin, man. It's a, it's a sad state of affairs in New York, really, right now. 
know. But a good thing for them, they're in the East. Yeah, totally. Good thing for them, they're in the East. Good thing for them. It's always December the 25th. <laughs> <laughs> the game will be on TV, I'll tell you that. Uh, it'll be a whole meeting in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, one thing, one person there though, people just always underrate, is Timothy Moscow. I think that guy <laughs> I think that dude works hard, man. He actually you know? just um, pulled Russia into the uh, semis of the Europeans, man. That's what I'm saying, man. The guy, the guy I'm can not play. His ability, but He's just a bit... I don't know what the Lakers did last year giving them the money. That, that, that was amazing. I, they had the money to give. His agent deserves a They had the money to give. They had the money to give. So you can't love that. Bubbly, because his agent and Luau, Daniel's the agent, man. Bless oh, Luau. Love man. Luau. Got love, much love for him. Yeah, he got that dough, man. Seriously. Get <laughs> yes, your money, fella. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Work so hard. Dough, man. Man. Listen, let's, 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 this is like pulling nails. <laughs> So listen. Don't give up on the Brooklyn, man. Don't give up on. <laughs> we have a nine four feet raw. You know, shut um, We hope you enjoy a biggest mm-hmm. classic playing in the background mm-hmm. as much as I did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to go <laughs> drink some TCP. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you.